Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. All honor, glory, and praise be to our one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I just wanted to send a word of encouragement um, to uh, somebody out there today. Anybody, if you are living outside in the elements, I know that it's not fair. And I know that uh, this is a dirty world, but I want you to know that um, Jesus will work it out if you let him. And by that, I mean, you know, I don't mean that he's going to drop a house out of the sky or opportunity out of the sky for you, though he can. But I do believe that sometimes the weight of the burden that people carry as it pertains to this world, it will probably match or the weight of the crown that you will have upon your head in glory if you just hold out if you just hold out and i feel like that's what somebody needs to say today to the lord lord help me to hold out and by weight i mean honor the level i'm not talking about like a physical weight because um see i don't know if the world meaning collectively people that oppose God are aware of this, but in heaven, according to what I read, or what I can recollect, if I'm wrong, Lord, forgive me, but I, there, I believe there are going to be rewards that are going to be given out in heaven when all the saints get there. There are going to be rewards that are going to be given out. Jesus even said that he's going to come to reward every man according as his work shall be. Now, when we think of rewards, we think of, of humanities, interpretation of it we think of people walking across a stage and getting a trophy or a certificate and I'm not in any way um, diminishing the value of that but I'm talking about you got to think when you think of reward now you got to think of the magnitude of God Almighty what imagine what's in God's mind his interpretation of reward I'm telling you you cannot imagine it so like I said I don't know what anybody's going through specifically out there today but I know somebody out there you're going through something and, and you're watching people uh, perhaps you can watch people on the internet or on your television or even in person walking by and they're dressed in fine clothes and they're driving the best looking cars and you know they seem to have the best jobs and life just seems to have dealt them a better hand than you and it doesn't mean that they're evil or that they're wicked or that you did something wrong and they did because and they did something right you know, we are, everybody is born with the seed of sin. It just means that Father God has within his plan and purpose uh, the particular road that he wants each individual that is sent, sent to this planet to walk. And while you're here, the enemy is going to torment you uh, by the things that other people have. And it doesn't mean that those people are evil, but it just means that is what God chose for them in their walk of life because their struggle will be uh, their test will be um, love not the world neither the things that are of the world or in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him their test will be temptation you understand and your test will be um, the enemy trying to give you to give up on God to hate God to curse God so do you see now how life is only a test and don't take it personally. Oh my gosh, I'm talking to somebody out there today. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm talking to somebody out there today. Life is only a test. Don't take it personally. Because your particular test may not be what somebody across the way a particular test is. But everybody on earth is being tested. And I'm telling you something, you must pass. The same way the people that were blessed with material goods in this world and in an, in, an abundance must pass their test. I'm not exalting those things above God and not falling into idolatry. It's the same way that those of you that are suffering in lack, perhaps, you know, you're living like John the Baptist did or how the disciples did or whatever. Let me tell you something. Keep your head held high and be proud of who you are and who God called you to be as he, when he sent you to this planet. Because your test is making sure that you don't curse God and die like Job's wife told him to do. When um, Job lost everything that he had and... Um, he was suffering and his children got killed and everything and his wife told him to curse God and die and Job told his wife uh, that I think he said thou speak as one of the foolish women God I mean uh, Job was letting uh, his wife know she must be out of her mind if she thinks that he's gonna curse uh, the only friend that he has 
that his God, the only one that can make a way out of no way, the only one that if it, it, it so be God's desire, he could send those children that were killed right back to life too, Job, in perfect condition. Job knew who God was. And so you and your trials and tribulations and everybody has them, you must know who God is. And you must have um, pride and respect. I don't mean pride in a bad way, but I mean you must be um, respect, have respect within yourself to know that nobody's better than you just because they have this world's material goods. You see this tree right here? This tree made the mansions that you see. This tree uh, helped make some probably uh, some of the brick houses that you see. You understand what I'm saying? You see this vegetation down here? Well, people have got grass in their yard. Just because they have a fine lawn, it doesn't make them any better than if, you're, if you are sleeping in something like this. God created everything, all the resources that we utilize were taken out of nature and a wicked humanity put a price tag on it. And I'm talking about whoever initiated all of this because, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about in our modern society, I'm talking about from day one. That's what I'm talking about, from day one, because everything is supposed to be free, everything. But because Adam disobeyed God in the garden, this is what it is. This world is the way that it is. But you have to um, have enough faith and trust in God to know that God will work it out. You must also remember that Jesus slipped in the garden. Jesus slipped on the ground. He could have used a, a stump for his head as a pillow. I don't know. The Bible doesn't say that. I'm just saying that for by example. There's a tree right there that's fallen. He could have used something like that as a headrest. Uh, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, slept on this on the ground he slept on the ground of a planet he created oh my gosh oh my gosh so if a king is not too good to go through the trials and the tribulations that this world has laid out for him then the creations are not too good to go through the trials and tribulations that this world has laid out for us and I'm not I'm in no way speaking deprivation or lack to anybody by making that statement what, what I'm saying is that no weapon form shall prosper and you must remember that only the strong survive and the only way to survive this world and this life and the satanic setup of this world is to believe lean and trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who said I will with the test make a way of escape oh my gosh or a window of escape I'm not trying to quote scripture but that's what he, that's what the word of God says that with the test there is an escape Jesus Christ okay all right then and and as it pertains to that particular scripture i know father was probably talking about situations and circumstances but as it pertains to life in its totality life as a whole the escape from this world and all the hell that it will lay before you is our lord and savior jesus christ and with that said god bless you all until next time and um somebody today needs to tell the lord lord help me to hold out and god will do just what he said and all you have to, have to do is ask seek and knock and it is done. So let it be written. So let it be done. And God bless you all until next time. And I hope something that I've said has helped somebody out there. Okay? Because this right here don't define who you are as a person. Anybody in this situation today, you're outside roaming around or even on the city streets. It doesn't define who you are as a person. You hold on to Jesus Christ and hold on to your integrity. Okay? And God bless you all until next time.